Hey, Steve Zook here. Welcome back to Pokes Your Channel. Um, I did a video a while back called Music and Metaphysics. And uh, somebody wrote me a really nice note that I just now saw and said that they, you know, went, have been had struggles with being positive and that they were very negative for a long time. And this guy wrote me a really, really nice note. And uh, so I could tell that, that some of the things I said you know, helped him and he resonated with it. And I did a video earlier today talking about a subject which unfortunately is very common with musicians and guitar players because I had read a thing, I was looking into Danny Gatton a little bit and who was an awesome player and unfortunately he took his own life, uh, which is really sad. I guess he suffered from depression and there's probably other elements involved. But that, because this gentleman here took the time to wrote me this note I actually got rid of the video I did earlier and because this gentleman here, I don't see his name, wrote me this note which I just now saw about uh, the fact that he's working hard to be positive and whatnot and he had to take some antidepressants to help him and everything, which is fine. I'm going to share this. So I just want to talk a little bit about it, you know. Um, I, I, I think a part of it is, is you know, there's, there's chemical imbalances that some people have that can cause depression. Uh, also, I, I think part of it is, I almost think we're conditioned that when we're not sure about our life, that being negative is kind of a natural thing to do. I, I, I don't believe it's the best approach, but I think we all fall into that. And sometimes maybe having faith and being positive just seems like, you know, trying to fly to the moon. It seems like an impossibility. And I don't, it doesn't really matter what your religious beliefs are, but with me, I know even running my small business, I, I really feel a huge part of running a business is learning to have positive faith and be positive because there's times when, you know, maybe things are a little slower or whatnot. And I've noticed every time though, if I get back to being positive and having faith and just really, um, understanding that life happens for you not to you you know things turn around but I, I, I want to just talk a little bit about about depression because it's a serious thing I'm gonna get right to a couple ideas that that can help with this and, and I speak from experience here okay is that um, there's some there's things that really help could really help you be a more positive person and can help depression and things that don't help things that, that can really help be a more positive person whether you have depression or not is um, Daily exercise is really important. I walk every day. Uh, I work out with weights every other day. Uh, I try not to eat too much junk food, not too much sugar, except for when it's Girl Scout cookie time. It's, it's difficult not to buy all those cookies. Yeah, it helps the cause, right? But anyway, um, and then also, like I said, daily meditation is really, really important. I believe I, I work out with two 20 pound dumbbells. I've gotten great results. But you know, I think it's very common for creative people Unfortunately, uh, creative people maybe are more sensitive. It's, it's a bit of a double-edged sword because when you, when you become more sensitive and you meditate a lot and whatnot, you tend to feel more. So you have to kind of stand guard at the door of your mind and not let in thoughts that you don't want to, to really take over your head. It's almost like you have to kind of really be careful what you focus on. That's why, uh, and it's real funny too because you can be real positive and then all of a sudden you start sneaking back to the negative thing. So it, it's, it's about kind of an inner ecology so like this gentleman that wrote me this note here tonight which was really cool I want to thank you for this by the way uh, he mentioned that, that he he needed to take some antidepressants to kind of get you know things shifted a little bit and that's fine I happen to believe the best thing to take uh, is, is lithium that would be maybe relating to more people that might be bipolar because that's just a naturally occurring mineral and, uh, and I'm not giving medical advice here uh, you know if you find something that works for you that's great but my, my main emphasis here is to talk about the fact that what can you do to help manage, you know, Anthony Robbins calls it staying in state. What can you do? It doesn't matter if you're, maybe you have ADHD or, or, or you're, you know, uh, OCD or you're bipolar or whatever it might be. Recently, I, somebody bought my guitar ladder course who, who has uh, struggles with anxiety and issues because he was in the Vietnam War and whatnot. So, you know, I think I'm reaching some people here. So, so, so again, it's simple things like, and, and like I've said, if you're, if you're, I believe we all have an ego, and I believe the ego is insane because the ego believes it's separate from God, like edge God out. And the ego is that little part of your mind that thinks that you actually exist as a separate thing. But actually, I believe that we're all one and that we're all an extension or we're all an idea in God's mind and we're always connected to our higher self. We're always connected to the source. We're always connected to the one mind. You know, 
Uh, I, I like what Wayne Dyer says is that the creator is, is within and you are the creator, you know. So it's a, it's a, it's a journey, it's a journey um, in waking up. So as, as you wake up your consciousness and you expand your consciousness, you begin to discover the power of, of thoughts and the power of thinking. And some people believe in what's called the particle mind or the quantum mind, that, that, and the, like, just like an, you can split an atom and it can blow up. It's not a very pleasant thought, right? But some people believe when you think on a more subtle level, it's much, much more powerful. And some people call it the particle mind or the quantum mind. There's a, there's a new thing they discovered called, called the boson particle. They discovered that through a particle accelerator. Uh, the God particle, it's a creative particle. What I'm just trying to say is that we're creative by nature. You know, you're, you're, not, you're not a powerless person. You're not a victim. You can actually manifest and create things in your life if you do your part, which is managing your thinking. It's like if you have a thought where you don't have money or whatever and you just, abundance is my natural state. I believe in tithing. I believe in gratitude. So I, I have to make this short so now, but what, I, what I'm basically talking about is I think it's really sad that a lot of musicians end up taking their own life. I think this is a tough one I know because it's not, I know it's not easy and believe me, I have had challenges too, but learning to have a sense of humor is huge. And learning, learning to be joyful even when maybe you don't have a lot of reasons to be joyful. I mean, success uh, and joy, you know, like joy attracts success. Like if you can learn just to go through your day and, and be the kind of person that's, that's cheering other people up and you know, just be in a good mood and be a little magnetic, you know, you're going to attract more things to you. And it's, it's amazing what can happen if you're positive and you have faith. And faith is believing what you don't see and the result is seeing what you believe. And this can be small or large. And uh, I'm not any certain organized religion, but I just want to, I want to wrap this up. I'll do more of these because I'm feeling it's connecting with people. If you suffer from depression, you know, you need to, you need to work on that. Don't drink. Drinking, what, what goes up goes down. If you're depressed and you drink to feel better, you're going to have even worse lows because people, you know, if you're depressed, you probably have times when you feel really hyper and really good and times when you feel really low, but drinking does not help that. So I suggest you don't do that. Um, you know, I'll have a glass of wine every couple of months. It's good for my heart, and that's about it. I have a son struggling with sobriety. And he's doing great. I, I, I like. I'm proud to say, but you know, some people drink and they just turn into Jack Nicholson in The Shining, or they they, you know, they turn into just you know somebody crazy. So, some people it just clicks and doesn't work. So, it's all about sensing energy. It's all about developing consciousness. Consciousness is not localized. Okay, it's all about developing consciousness. It's all about tuning into your higher self. You're here for a reason. We're here to learn. We're here to evolve. We're here because the universe or the one mind wants to become conscious through us. We're an idea in the one mind. And to the extent that we learn to trust, learn to have positive faith, learn to manage our consciousness, learn to have positive thoughts, and understand we don't always have to figure everything out. That's the whole idea behind faith. We just need to believe and we need to have faith. We still need to take action. I mean, I, I, I do my work. You know, I do the work to, to sell guitars, no matter, you know, to buy guitars, use new, whatever it might be. I work on my marketing. I've worked my ass off on my YouTube page. I've got a thousand, I've put in hundreds of hours, but it's worked for me. But at the end of the day, I understand the universe handles the details. I understand that, you know, the, the one mind or the universe is my source. And so you, you learn to take the responsibility off yourself. Again, doesn't mean that you don't do anything, but it just means you understand that your, you know, your source is what is going to, help you and but our our job is to learn to let go of limited thinking now i'm going to share one thing real real quick here and then i'm going to scoot here this is a, something i read in a book a long time ago it's a pretty heavy affirmation in the one mind there is only the consciousness of wholeness completion and perfection in this one mind there are no ideas of lack or limitation of supply of any kind whatsoever to every century of this one mind and every human being is a century of consciousness there naturally flows every needed thing, every needed idea, just as air rushes into a vacuum. Know that this one mind is in you, is you, is your mind. By knowing this and making this a dominant factor in all your thought and consciousness, are you actually united with this one mind? Therefore, you know, know this once. There, oh, therefore, all it has and is is yours for the knowing. Know this once, believe this once, and you'll be free from all lack and limitation of supply forever. Whew, I know that's a mouthful, right? But the bottom line of that is that the one mind, the universe, does not know limits. So therefore, that's why we want to get, we want to play the match game, as Wayne Dyer said. Great book, by the way. 
uh, Real Magic by Wayne Dyer. But that's that's why we want to learn to have unlimited thinking. But again, we don't just sit around all day and you know drink beer and eat pizza. You need to work at, at what your goals are in life. It, it takes work. To, you know, some of these new age people make it seem a little too easy. You need to work at your goals. But at the end of the day, you trust the universe. You know, you trust the universe. Trust in the wisdom that created you. Okay, you have to trust in the wisdom that created you and understand, just look at your, the fact that you can even watch this video right now. The fact that I'm sitting here with this mind and this body and this guitar and this is a miracle. Your, 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 your soul is sitting inside of a miracle. It's all a miracle and it's, it's all um, the eternal now. It's all the eternal present. Whew, I, get, I, I trip myself out when I think about the eternal present. Einstein used to say everything's happening, everything in the universe happens all at one, the one time. But gravity creates linear time, so we can have this kind of linear experience. So anyway, I better stop right now. But hey, man, I, I love everybody out there. I know that sounds really corny, but I, I'm feeling it right now. I love everybody out there. Even people that send me extremely rude emails, which blows me away. And I want to just punch them because some of the shit you guys say is unfreaking believable Okay? You need to grow up. Okay? If you're going to email me, I don't care what people email me, but have some respect. Okay? But I love everybody out there. And uh, just remember, though, that you need to do, in order for the universe to manifest through you, you need to do your part. When you're positive, you get in alignment with the perfection of the universe and more good things can happen. Watch your diet, exercise, work out with weights, every, do light weights so you don't get hurt. Meditate every day, do a little bit of tithing, and uh, play guitar. <laughs> All right. Take care, folks. I'll catch you on the next video. All right. Bye-bye.